News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel each and every day, each and every hour. And yeah. So guys, uh, today is the 24th of uh, May uh, 2022. So as an Mahue district branch has recommended the readmission of former Mbire legislator David Butau into the party. Butau was expelled from the ruling party in 2015. After he was linked to the sacked former vice president Joyce Mujuru, late faction accused of trying to topple then ZANPF leader Robert Mugabe. In a letter dated 5 May uh, 2022, addressed to the Mushumbi District Coordinating Committee chairperson, Maui District Vice Chairperson Daniel Mumba Muchena said they had agreed that Butau should be admitted into the ruling party so he can mobilize voters for President Emerson Nangagwa ahead of 2023. Uh, elections. The letter reads, uh, we as the word Mahue political district agree to the letter with the following conditions. Comrade Butau involved everyone uh, to implement development in Mbire district. He offered personal projects to uplift uh, the livelihoods of people in the entire district. He was involved in developing public places like schools, clinics and roads. He donated learning materials like books and computers in most of the schools in the district. He assisted orphans and most vulnerable people in the entire district. He was strongly involved uh, to restore situation uh, during uh, disasters uh, which affected people in Mbire district. Added the letter, we therefore recommended to Commander David Butau to be admitted in ZANU-PF to continue with these good works and also assist the President of Zimbabwe, His Excellency Mnangagwa, in mobilizing the 5 million of voters to rally behind ZANU-PF in the impending uh, 2023 general elections. And uh, yes, uh, I think we have talked a lot about it here so many times that ZANU-PF is pulling all stops uh, for my elections that go next year, 2023. As you know, five years ago or six years ago, we need everyone to come with ZANU-PF. This is what they are saying. Everyone should be involved in, in mobilizing people. And I still think that this is a lesson uh, to all the opposition political parties out there, you know, to recruit as many people as possible. That's why I was so mad when uh, Amir Kupi said uh, she wants to join Triple C. And many people were saying that this and that. I mean, social media was... was uh, was over the moon. Everybody was like angry, pissed at Amerikupe. But it's politics. It's because most of you guys monopinda politics, money my feelings. I and some of the comrades never make it out. And it is sometimes you just have to um think outside the box. And it is our opinion politics name my feelings. Think that it's not corner even in the Lancaster House agreement it's because Wangwa wanna go to Apana Katrikwenda, they just sit down and talk this through. And so it's always about mobilizing, it's always about numbers, it's always about uh Munuese Ngawe. As you know with room tazi uno gona won't just say Munuese Ngawe Kum Sangan, Gawe Awe Kusandira Musangan, and we need to mobilize everybody who is eligible voter. I think this is the motto that all the political parties should do, should mobilize as many people as possible, recruit as many people as possible. As you know, I'm going to talk five years ago, as you know, I'm going to talk about the faction, at the same time, they need to abide the rules and regulations of the party. There's no one who is bigger than the party. And yes, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, political party repo. I think this is why NPF has managed to uh, stay in power for the last 43 years. It's because no one is bigger than the party. It doesn't matter how popular you are. No one is bigger than the party. This is daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Uh, we will keep you in the loop. If uh, Komori Butao uh, is readmitted uh, in um, Biri uh, constituency because he played a major role there in terms of helping the community. So, and I wonder what I know that about our guards, okay, um, Sangano, and uh, of course, uh, we'll keep in the loop here on daily news, breaking news on Prince Ambila Entertainment TV. Road to 2020 general elections are here on this show. We'll keep in the loop, but I take any new info. Place up.